Look at that big old Brutus. Oh, we got live action, boys and gals. Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. You guys have been requesting in the comments a lot of pigeon trapping, pigeon hunting video requests. Well, we're here. But we are downtown, uh, my local hometown here where we do all the pigeon trapping. And this particular rooftop, which I'll show you, it's starting to rain a little bit. It's kind of spitting and I'm going to have to protect the camera. And I wanted to get this done before it starts raining. Hopefully we have a lot of rain coming like they're saying. But here we are. New ladder, which is always nice. Pretty sketch though, straight up and down. Really tall. I hate checking uh, pigeon traps with ladders like this when it's wet. So it's not bad, just a little mist like I was saying. Smash a thumbs up if you guys are, you know, glad to see that the pigeon trapping is back. Put some comments down there, some video ideas regarding trapping or what you guys want me to do, what you guys want to see. It is the off season for me and uh, just wanting to have some fun. Been looking for a pigeon hunt. One does not exist right now, just to let you know. I'm gonna put the camera down, get my gear. We'll get up top here. I'll show you what all we're working with, uh, what the set is like, my trap, the, the winds, the whys, the house, everything like that. Let's get up there. Oh, it's wet. Rope attached to my cage down there to lift it up in case I do have anything in the trap. That climb sucks I'm trying to get everything up here. But here we go. Look at that. Oh, pigeons everywhere. It's going to take them a little bit to get used to this. This is what we got going on, y'all. Massive roof, huge, 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 huge. This is our trap, the usual pole corn uh, for bait. Uh, my two room system uh, trap here. They have not touched the corn on top of it. Go ahead and dump that off. Got a new water in the center, uh, bait in the middle. I did bait around the perimeter of the trap. Very heavy and as you can see, they come up here, they do this. Oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday I was up here seeing the traps and there was some heating and air guys working on these ACs. The uh, pigeons have got in them. Look at all these ACs. Big, big AC units, brand new. I've got in them and just made nests and uh, Essentially just <clears throat> essentially just affecting the AC units and Kind of taking over the whole rooftop. So it's gonna take them a little bit to get used to this trap I was aware of that yesterday I, I knew that I had enough bait on the ground around the trap that we probably wouldn't trap anything today but There is some really fresh poop all around the trap, which is a really good sign the babies I might have to rescue and take home to the loft where they can uh, finish growing there. But we got to get my butt safely down this wet ladder, ladder now. We'll be back to check it tomorrow. All right, well, we are back. Uh, next day, time to check the trap. And I have a feeling we have some luck. Uh, down the road, I, can kind of, I can't see on top of the roof, but I can see a lot of pigeons standing up around that area where the trap is. Oh, I hate the ladder situation. Up here, Whew, it's always sketchy. Especially the other day when it was wet. Oh, we got some birds, baby. Come on, if you like the pigeon trapping videos, help a brother out. Here we go. Man, they devoured the food in there. There's no, oh, wrong side. We got some colors. I'm seeing some colors in here. Oh, look at that! I told you it was gonna be a good spot. I freaking told you. We got a red one right here. We got a white one right here. Gonna need some water. Oh, we're about half full on water, not bad. I brought more corn to rebate. One, two, three, four, five, at least 10. All right, let's get them out of there, check them all out. Okay, that's our bait bucket. Here's our transportation cage. As you can see right here, that is a ton of water that's pooled up. 
on top of this roof and I think I'll be able to use the bait bucket to scoop a lot of this water up to refill my water feeder with water so that's awesome that it pulls up like this if you've been watching the videos uh, keeping every year it's a challenge keeping water uh, especially when it gets really really hot I, uh, it, it gets so hot in fact I tend to shut the trapping down uh, because even if you check them every day it gets so just scorching hot on top of these rooftops this one I don't think will be as bad because it's a white roof and not a black roof the black roofs are god-awful um, and this one gets a lot of good wind there's no big wind breaks or walls around it but what I'm getting at keeping water uh, is the main issue during the hot season and a lot of these rooftops just like this one it doesn't have a water spigot or hose outlet up here so you can refill and <laughs> that ladder your boy is not gonna be carrying up water all the time so there's only one thing that I can do is get a few more buckets up here put them where they won't blow away basically here comes a ton of pigeons wow I'm gonna hide for a minute see if they land but basically it just gets so hot up here it's hard to keep water so gonna have to get some more buckets up here to catch the rainwater free water usage yep so, okay seeing that massive flock of pigeon has a guy thinking real quick this would be the perfect rooftop to do something that I've always wanted to do. See how big and flat this is. Nothing in the way. If you've been around for a lot of the old trapping videos, I have always wanted to use like a net launcher, a spring-loaded net launcher. That'd be cool, right? Or a, a net, basically that you would pull and it'd come up from the bottom. Like you put a big pile of feet out here, once they all land on it, you net them. It either comes down from the top or from the bottom. What do you guys want me to do? What do you want to see? I know we could do the net thing legally, of course. The launcher, I think as long as it's like spring assisted, a launcher like that, not like CO2 powered or, or anything crazy, I think that would be okay. I think. I'm gonna have to read some laws. <laughs> Drop a comment down below and let me know. But uh, let's look at these birds. Alrighty, we're gonna start on this side first. First time using this new carrier, bird carrier dealio. Let's roll. What do we got? First one up. Wow, look at this guy. Beautiful, adult, big adult, black check. Just pure black almost. Look at that bird. Awesome bird. By the way, um, helping out this business um, they've had an issue for a long time I finally got the courage to ask if I can trap it oh, oh whoa 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 he about got out not good get back in there okay gonna have to learn this new cage operation young bird a uh, very young bird blue check this little transportation organ nope they about got out again okay that's kind of a pain in the butt Next, another young bird right here. Same thing, young, easy, blue check. Thinking this, this is a type of, uh, no, no, I just lost the black one. Okay, this little carrier thing sucks. What am I doing with my life? This little thing sucks. I'm going back to my other one. Thanks, man. Oh, well, that's frustrating. Here we go. One of the cool birds, really young. Auburn, like a red check. I don't know what they tend to call these birds. The legal name. That's a beautiful young pigeon. What a cool color. I always like the red ones. You guys know on my pigeon hunts. This little thing sucks. On my pigeon hunts, uh, you always try to pick out them colorful birds first if you can. Last one on this side, young blue bar. Young blue bar. Okay, there's that. This little cage deal sucks. Ugh. All right, moving on. Going on this side. All of them look pretty normal except for this guy check him out 
This is a younger bird, no band. Got some red on the front, full white. Full white wings with just a little bit of red here and there. That there is a beautiful bird. I have seen this bird flying around here and uh, drooled over him quite a few times already. But we got you, buddy, as long as my cage don't let you out like the last one. Keep, oh, we have another cool bird right here. Let's see what this one's all about. Easy. Young bird again. Got some really cool white flights on him, though. Blue check with some white flights. Heck yeah, baby. Do not get out. To find, I'm gonna have to find my other transportation station because this one just ain't working. All right, you know, young bird. Extremely young, actually. Very, very, very young. Wow. This is awesome, guys. Here we go. Young bird, little older, not a lot, but still a uh, little older than the other ones that we went through. Blue check. Check them for bands. Nothing. Usually if they're actual like legit banded, like a homer or a racing pigeon, you can definitely tell by their head and their beak shape. Um, it's very noticeable if they are in fact a homer. These are all just normal feral pigeons here. All right, next one very young. Easy, dude. Blue check, extremely young. All right, last one, last one. Older bird, pretty large bird, kind of like the black one we just lost. Check him for some weird bands, nothing. Older bird, there goes a bird right over our head. Blue check, there he is, he is not happy right now. All right, I got them all uh, in the transportation station. Already rebaited. The water situation, I think, is looking pretty good. Let's check our water level. Need to pour all the corn out of it that's in it. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're half full still. I think I might try to fill it real quick just because I don't know if there's any more rain coming for a while. So, Well, that works slick. Filled her right up, lickety split. We are ready to go. I'm going to shut up the cage here. We are fully reset, baited. Doors are now all shut put the shade top over it and we are good to go all right we are back i got my bucket the uh, carrier my rope the whole deal in my pocket yep so i can use both hands to climb i gotta unlock this bad boy I got you all on the GoPro with the hat clip. Um, I just figured it'd give you guys kind of a POV view. Um, and for me, it doesn't require a massive camera that sometimes feels impossible getting up and down this here ladder. And if something ever happened, like my knot comes untied or something here and I have the camera, I usually put it in here. Yeah, it falling from that far would not be good either. So less weight better uh, mobility let's get to climbing all right let's roll up going up is quite easy coming down that's a different story it's pretty sketchy standing on the edge right up here backwards getting ready to go down oh we have a ton holy cow yeah this set is really paying off holy cow one laid an egg in here look at that <laughs> That tells you something. They are laying eggs and taking care of babies. Okay, we got a ton of water left. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a cool bird. Seven, eight, nine, ten birds again. That's crazy. Ten the first go. Ten the second go. Twenty birds in, baby. Boom! Look at that big flock of pigeons right there. Huge, there's probably 50 right there. Well, we're gonna go ahead and bait it before we pull the birds out. Little there, a little bit there. Good to go. Oh, make sure to fill that up. All right, looking good. I gotta empty my bait bucket, because that's usually what I put the camera on to film me. 
just like so. <laughs> All right, let's get the roll in here. 10 and 10, that's crazy. We got a lot of young birds I'm seeing already. First one, they had a lot of normal birds, nothing special. Really young, blue check, really, really young. Second bird, again, really, really young. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna get ahead of myself and end up losing a bird again. Blue check, really young, really young. For the fourth time, really young. <laughs> uh, third bird, blue bar, really young. Easy, easy critters. All right, fourth bird, last bird in this side. This is a sweetie. Look at that big old Brutus. Blue bar, really older bird, really mature bird. Look at him, it's just a stud muffin. Feral bird, no bands. Get in there. All right, that is the left side. Close it up real nice like. Oh, and this is that really cool bird. Really cool completely black really mature bird how cool is he or she I don't know no band just a normal feral black check I guess I don't know beautiful bird that's a sweetie there um, what do we got next it's another mature bird oh yeah really mature Blue check, good looking bird. Mature ones are on this side for some reason. No, 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 about got out. No, no, no. I do not like this carrier. I know I said it last time, but it is a pain in the rear. I need to get my other one. Next bird, pretty mature. Blue bar, okay. And then the next three, gonna be young this one's kind of cool looking easy dude come on this one's a little older guy's strong no band just a normal feral black with a little bit of auburn red on him cool bird the other two are just regular young 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 birds nothing special so i'm gonna get all packed up get these birds down in the truck uh, get some new water in our waterer and get off this rooftop. Alright, like I was saying, this is the part I hate. I always like make sure my feet are like really dried off best as I can because this thing is sketchy. I don't like it at all. I hate doing this type of stuff. I really do. I can do it. It's just pretty creepy for anybody and the last thing I want is to ever get comfortable to where I uh, just kind of speed it up and I mess up you know so taking your time is really nice but having this GoPro on my head that's a freaking game changer let me know if you like the GoPro up and down the stairs and stuff because going hands-free that is so nice so nice um, the only crappy thing is when it gets windy up on those roofs, you know. But I'll try to get a wind muff for the old GoPro, if you like it. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll miss my turn. All right, we are back next day. Um, it's actually been a few days. I checked it the last couple, had one and two in there. Um, it rained a little bit again last night, so... Um, one thing about it, I would like to try some different bait rather than just whole corn, but I don't know if I've said it already. They love Milo. They love Milo. They love just the normal, um, pigeons love the normal bird feed, you know, like mixed bird feed, like Milo and sunflower seeds and cracked corn and, and uh, some beans, whatever in there. Uh, but the problem is, is that the Milo and the cracked corn is so small and light, uh, lightweight that um, the wind, if it's windy like today or anything, it just blows it off the roof or blows it out of the actual trap. So 
unfortunately we got to stick with the whole corn but it's working we are at 20 birds trapped uh minimum i haven't really kept total track but 20 minimum off of the planet fitness roof yes i just got done working out mr boom swole baby mm. i have I, i've been getting my workout on for about what's that january march april may about three months right at three months solid i would say five to six days a week solid and um this is downtown in my hometown planet fitness is it's actually attached it's all under one building planet fitness and dollar general or dollar tree one of the two uh but i was working out there i don't know it was about a well i guess what we've only been up here a week or two now uh, but a little a little time ago a little bit ago what i'm getting at um, i just got up got up the guts to uh ask the uh the manager i was like hey are, are you the manager because we had gabbed a few times he's like yeah it's like do you want to uh you need some help taking care of your pigeons and he was like dude do we have to pay you and i'm like no 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 he was like so there's no invoices that need to be wrote up and i'm like no he was like oh i shouldn't have to get a hold of corporate then and um you know sign a waiver or whatever and and you're good to go and i told him what i do with them you know most of them are for dog training purposes but uh i've been helping them out a lot they've been really satisfied uh just like today when i was leaving he was like you need the key to get up there i'm like yeah he was like uh been noticing uh not so many birds up there and i'm like yeah we're thinning them out uh slowly but surely so let's get up there let's see what we got today all righty we are rigged up ready to roll here put this bad boy in my pocket maybe all right we are off to the races boys and gals remember guys drop a thumbs up if you like these videos if you like the gopro on my head please let me know if you have any suggestions put them down in the comments of what you want to see holy cow we got more in there <laughs> i always wonder what people think when they're watching me come up here uh-oh, we got more, baby. Woohoo! All right. What are we working with today, boys and gals? What do we got? There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the trap. It's been 10, 10, 8. The numbers are really consistent. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> Who would have known? All right, let's get these birds out. I don't believe we have anything special today. Not looking like it. Young, very young. There's a lot of young birds coming in here now. Woo! The weather's picking up. We have some really severe weather popping up uh, all afternoon here. Uh, rotation out west headed our way already they're calling for big hail the storms are brewing just looked at the radar and boy it might get nasty hopefully we get some good rain but here we are here is the pigeon loft you guys haven't seen it in a while nothing has changed i've added a big feed bucket <clears throat> this is what i was talking about earlier um, this is what i like to feed it's uh scratch grains you know Milo, cracked corn, good stuff like that. The pigeons love it, but unfortunately, up on the rooftops, it likes to blow around. So here we are. I think they're all down here now. Yep. Here is a few of them. These are the ones that have been here. These are a lot of the new ones we put in today. This is what the young ones do. They sit down there like that. They have no idea what's going on. But I just got done uh, feeding and filling up all the water buckets. Lots of food and water in here for them at all times. But uh, the new ones will get acquainted. And I'm sure the uh, ones that have been here will show them around. But they're just chilling. Pretty neat. We're up and running again. How cool is that? Some new rooftops, guys. Like I said before, drop a comment down below. Oop, I need to grab this. Let me know what you guys want to see with the with the trapping. Um, I really enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. Um, and I, there is a lot of you that have been wanting to see it. So 
any ideas any at all any idea is not a dumb idea i can promise you drop a comment down below and let me know um just some different ideas i don't care what it is even if you think it's dumb i don't care i'll think it's great put it down there in the comment section i really want to get the comments going on this video it seems like it's been a while since uh the off season videos have fired up obviously but we're back up running on the weekly vlogs um hopefully have some pigeon hunting coming up uh probably gonna shoot a turkey here pretty soon i've been putting it off so thank you all for being here i greatly appreciate all my longtime subscribers and supporters for always being here uh all the long-term subscribers that have came to uh to hunt with me during the duck and goose hunting season here at sand hill flyways in my lodge appreciate y'all hope to see y'all back this year a lot of you did rebook if you haven't give me a shout but stay up y'all stay cool it's gonna be getting hot uh stay safe these spring storms are no joke but until next time